just ran in to a label disaster basically we tag our clothing and apparel with this plastic label gun uh, but we've just realized the brand new tags this hole right here is way too big so the plastic tags just slides right through luckily we have these um twine swing tags but the problem is these take much longer to install than just simply like tagging them really quick with this tagging gun but rather than them all go to waste i think i'm just going to yeah i think i'm just going to use them like this and use the twine tags for now so that all these don't go to waste but how annoying is that? So a bit of a dilemma with the clothing tag also excuse the way i look i've got a very red nose and full of cold but we had a bit of a dilemma with the clothing tags, but luckily we had those swing tags, so they're not going to go to waste. I'm not sure what happened there, because I actually ordered clothing tag labels, and normally the hole is much smaller. So, not actually sure what went on, but we'll just have to use the swing, swing tags, and then once they're all out, uh, I'll get some different ones with a small hole in, where we can do the actual tagging gun, which is much more efficient than obviously clicking in the swing tags each and every time. Uh, that's why I like personally using the tagging gun, because it makes things much more effective. We're actually waiting for a delivery of the new clothes today, so today, we have a lot of things on the agenda. It's already like 2 p.m. But we have just had the most exciting delivery and we weren't expecting it. So we're working in collaboration with Vogris and they have actually gifted me a bunch of products to try for the shop. Some new, We've got some new keychains and we've got some new washi stands. So if you're one of our patrons, I will have seen the process behind this and I actually shared it in the last studio vlogs as well. I shared with you guys the washi stands and they've arrived already. It's literally been like two weeks and they've arrived. What the heck? Um, so Vogris have kindly gifted me these items to try out and share with you guys and I'm super excited because I've actually heard of Vogris before they even reached out to me for a collaboration. As you guys know I went to like conventions and stuff and they are quite a well-known manufacturer on the scene to use for things like uh, acrylic products. So without further ado let's do a huge unboxing and see how they turned out. Like I am so excited because we haven't had these products in catnip at all so oh let's get unboxing shall we oh my gosh i feel like it's been such a long time since we've done this sort of unboxing on the channel because quite frankly times have been tough and i feel super lucky to be able to work with vogris with this collab because oh my god i'm just so excited <gasps> so what are these oh my gosh these are the washi stands okay the frog washi stands so they come in like this big pack. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. Let's open them up and see. Oh, they're so cute. These are so heckin' cute, what the heck? Okay. Oh my goodness, what on earth? Ta-da! So we've got this little stand here and you click it in place like this and it just kind of sits or like this and it just kind of sits on your desk looking hecking cute my I add look at this and then you put your washi tapes here let me get some washi tapes and try it out 
obviously I've got to put my very own frog or and bear uh, washi tape on this stand and then I've also got another cute frog washi tape so let's put this on so it's got little fishies dangling down this has turned out literally perfect it looks so pretty so then you pop your washi tapes in there like that this is what I was really worried about that I didn't get this sizing right but it fits like a glove look at that so thank goodness I've measured it right and then we just click this into place like that and voila we've got an adorable washi stand this looks like the cutest thing I've ever seen I can't actually believe it it looks so adorable so we also have a bumblebutt one as well so there's the frog ones oh so in here is the bumblebutt ones Let's unbox them. oh my gosh look and then we've got a bunch of key rings but we'll get to them in a sec i've wanted to do this for literally the longest time these have been on my bucket list for over a year and a half now. I actually designed this bumble butt in my planner. I'll see if I can find the original sketch. It was like this tiny little idea that I did on like a Zoom call. So this is what the bumble butt once turned out like. So it's more of a stem. Can you see like the frog one has like the pond details and it's more thick here. Uh, this one's got more of like a beanstalky flower look and let's get we obviously have to put our bumblebutt washi tape with this uh, so let's get some bumblebutt washi tape and put them in so here we've got some of our bumblebutt washi tapes so i'm gonna slide them in like so click that down oh they're so cute Ta-da! the new washi tape stands oh my goodness i'm absolutely obsessed with them they have turned out so 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 well and they also just look like great decorative pieces so imagine you didn't even have washi tape and you just had this on your desk looking cute like i'm not being funny but like so let's just prop it here and put a candle there look at that it just looks like a great decorative piece in general like it's so nice what do you guys think i can't believe it i'm actually so buzzing with how these have turned out guys i was really worried that i got the sizing and stuff wrong and i spent a long time like designing it as you've seen on my studio vlog oh i can't believe it look at the little fishies i love the little fishies in the pond they look so cute oh and then that's reversed so i really wanted bumblebutt's butt on the back but i wasn't sure how to do the reversible look oh uh, well, look how nice they look okay next up we need to unbox all the new keychains oh oh my god there's so many here what the heck how many did i order whoa so many keychains this is how they have arrived they've arrived in this bag already okay first off i'm gonna open the big bumblebutt one and see what that looks like oh i'm excited about these oh they come in little compostable cellos i love that oh so this is be kind to your mind so that's the back of it and then this is the front oh my goodness hang on i'm just getting too crazy for this i got a slight glitter epoxy on this i don't know if the glitter is going to show up on camera but it has like a subtle glitter in the keychain <gasps> and then i opted for this green uh, key ring to complement the uh, green of the flowers and this is be kind to your mind and on the front is that epoxy glitter and the glitter is so pretty i was worried about the glitter being too overpowering but it's actually perfect and then that's the back and then you peel off the back so all of these i've noticed the washi stands included have like a sticker that you have to peel off but i think i'm going to leave that uh, on for you guys like if you purchase it and um, so that it's in the best condition and you can take it off very satisfying kind of like apple products uh, you peel it off and then it's nice and protected for you guys i'm not gonna mm. peel them all off in case they get damaged the front doesn't have it but it's epoxy on the front so it doesn't need to be and glitter so that's the first keychain so next up i am going to open this bag which seems to have a mix of all of them in 
we're gonna pull out pudding, the frog, and citrus. Oh my gosh. Right, let's go for citrus first. Unbag him. Oh, it's so shiny and pretty. So this is citrus with the epoxy on the outside. Look how pretty that is. And the subtle glitter. I love that the glitter is just really subtle like this. It's perfect. And for this one, I went for a little gold star key ring. So there is citrus. We then have the froggo, which is the same design as the washi stand. So let's open this up. Oh my gosh it's so cute the glitter is perfect i couldn't have got it any better myself it looks such good quality oh wow it's so sparkly and i actually went for a lilac keychain to match this little butterfly and it actually goes really well with the colors and last but not least we have a little autumn product and we have pudding in this famous pudding outfit pumpkin outfit and then the sparkles on it and again I went for a gold star keychain to finish it off. This is perfect for autumn because that's how I've been feeling, very autumnal. The quality is actually sensational, I can't actually believe it. So this is all the new products, I can't actually believe it. They've turned out so much cuter than I actually thought, especially these washi sands. <gasps> which one is your favourite out of the new products? Please let me know in the comments. So tell me which washi stand you like the best, then tell me which key ring you like the best in the comments below. <laughs> Let's see what everyone's favourite is. I am super happy with how they turned out. I think I ended up paying around $250 for shipping and I just, I'm just like completely buzzing and absolutely over the moon with them honestly it's changing things because these were actually going to be part of an autumn launch but now the clothing's coming in i'm doing a photography day tomorrow i might as well do like a surprise launch but for now i'm feeling like i just need to get these out there photograph them and get them live on my etsy shop before we go away in the van and then launch the website after there's no point just holding on to them because the t-shirts honestly were a summer design but we had delay after de delay after delay with them delaying them any further to wait for the website while we go away and come back it's just not really feasible and the caps as well because we've got the cute lemon caps and today I'll get to see the peach cap for the first time. So a photography day tomorrow and a surprise launch day. So a huge, huge thank you to Grace for gifting me these products. If you guys want to check them out, you can check out the link in the description. I am blown away with the quality as well. And to be honest, I think this is going to be my new go-to for keychains. I have been looking for a keychain manufacturer for a while. And I also think I might reach out to them and see if they can do kind of earrings and stuff like that. Uh, because I've got acrylic earrings, as you guys know. And I'm super happy with one the speed i don't know if the speed is because they gifted me the item so they rushed it out or whether it is just that fast i know a lot of you guys have used vograce before as well so let me know in the comments your experience with them but so far i love that i could check out on the website rather than emails that's usually how it works with manufacturers i usually go back and forth with emails but with them i ordered all these on their website so absolutely amazing thank you again to Vogris for reaching out and collaborating with me on this super exciting project so now seeing as though that changed things firstly i'm going to make dinner and then i'm going to get to work on some packaging so packaging ideas for the washi stands and for the keychains to match all the other packaging here at catney so I am going to end this video here. Thank you again to Grace for collabing with me on this. I hope you enjoyed it. Watch out for next week when we will be, which I currently am, in the mad rush to try and do a very quick turnaround shop update with all new clothings, the keychains, the washi stands, and do a mad crazy photography day, which hopefully future me will do because I still haven't done it yet. So watch out for next week and see if we manage to get that done. All right then, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.